Okay, let's get one thing straight before we begin this video. If you have $120,000 to spend on the idea of a banana, I hate you. Hello world and all who inhabit it, it is 2020! Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be back. I'm excited to have you back. Back to be on the tube yubes of the internet. And of course, coming back means we have to cover the weird noise in the art room, the news from Art Basel about the banana. Because apparently this channel is kind of becoming weird niche art things and sometimes mental health. Okay, I can deal with that. I thought about not making a video about this, but I cannot stop thinking about the fact that this actually happened, which means I have to talk about it, which is fine. There's a lot of niche art history and like interesting little niche art things that people do, and I really hope to cover them more in the future, check out my Patreon to help me do that and pay my rent, um, move on from my completely unsettled plug. Let's go. In case you haven't heard, lucky you, this thing happened at Art Basel in Miami, Florida, last year, which is completely just bonkers. Wow, that was last year? It's actually 2020? I'm sorry, I have to process the passage of time for a second. A little background, Art Basel is, in the words of Wikipedia, a for-profit, privately owned and managed international art fair staged in ba Basel, Switzerland, Miami Beach, Florida, and Hong Kong. It's actually really amazing what people bring to it. That said, art is a weird thing to try to put value on. You can try to cover your supplies and your ideas. The art itself that actually sells for hundreds of millions of dollars, like the value is more created by the people who kind of control the art market rather than the value of the art and the artists themselves. Al values kind of end up at a certain point being made up. The whole system is really interesting, but also more than a little bit dystopian. Netflix actually came out with a kind of satirical horror movie called Velvet Buzzsaw if you're into that. So enough buildup. The short of it is this. At Art Basel in Miami Beach, Florida in 2019, an artist duct taped a banana to a wall. The banana sold three times, first for $120,000 twice, and then to a third person for $150,000. Then on the sixth day of Art Basel, a guy came up to the banana and ate it. Just walked up and took a bite. <sighs> How? Let's get into the longer version of this. The title of the work is not actually Art Basil Banana, go figure. The title of the work is actually Comedian, and it's by Maurizio Catalan. Catalan is kind of an absurdist. He's done this kind of thing before. He um, is actually known as an artist and absurdist. He's also the guy who replaced a toilet at the Guggenheim with a solid gold functional toilet and then called it America. So. And here's the banana. I'll give Catalan this. It is definitely absurd. If you're paying attention, you will notice that I said three people bought the banana in question. Two for 120,000 each, one for 150,000. That is in total, let's see here, $390,000. I'd like to take a quick moment here to mourn all the things I could have personally spent that money on. <laughs> In case you're wondering, three people were actually able to purchase this separately by buying a sort of certificate of ownership. They essentially purchased the idea of the banana on the wall, not the banana itself. They didn't purchase a book or movie rights or a poem they could take home with them and adapt into a horrifying musical. They purchased the idea of a banana duct taped to a wall. Which reminds me more of all the things I personally could spend that money, kind of money on. They don't teach you anything about marketing yourself in art school, and I don't even know how anybody has 120000 to spend it on banana, and how the fuck did this happen? I don't even know. <laughs> to be clear, while I don't personally think this is art, in no way does a banana duct taped to a wall speak to me. I'm not actually mad at Catalan for making it. He's not the person who created the art market that could support a $120,000 banana duct taped to a frickin' wall. The fact that people have that kind of money to spend on a banana duct taped to a wall is actually a lot more absurd than duct taping a banana to a wall itself. Originally it was actually gonna be a sculpture, first in resin, I think he did like bronze, and then he was like, oh, why don't I just do this the simplest way possible, which 
Okay. The person who came up and ate a bite of it was actually not just some random person. It was a performance artist. His name is David Tutana. He is apparently a big fan of Catalan. Okay. I don't normally eat works of art that I'm a fan of, but all right. Apparently he wanted to kind of ask a question about what are we doing here by eating the banana, which very direct way to ask that question. So good on you, sir. I think there are easier ways to do that, but mostly I'm just sitting here thinking, I kind of hope he peeled it first. I don't know if he did, but I kind of hope he did. What a world we live in. So there you have it. That is the deal with the banana at Art Basel. And again, I will admit that it's absurd, but for the most part, what really actually legitimately angers me about this is that people had that kind of money and spent it on the idea of a banana. Not even the actual banana. They, they didn't even actually get to take the banana home. It's just a certificate of ownership. It's like spending money on blank walls with descriptions of what you would have painted there. But that's just absurd. Like, no one would ever actually... Oh. Oh no. You have reached the end of the video. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to my patrons who are helping me get closer and closer to paying my rent on Patreon. If you want to help me out with that, check out the links in the description below. I could not after talking that much about bananas, and I really wish I'd just slice this up and put it on some toast. Here's some gifts can be made after this, aren't there? Anyway. I have stickers and prints on Redbubble and t-shirts and clocks and other things, and I'm working on more. I'm starting to build my new portfolio officially instead of just talking about it. If you want to help me do all that, again, links to my Patreon, my Ko-Fi, everything. All my socials are in the description below. Everything helps. Work's been really inconsistent, so I'm so thankful that I have like some money to put from Patreon directly towards my rent this month. And I think I've rambled long enough, and I need to uh, eat a light lunch. Bye!